Ashley Forley of Ashley Horse Training. I'm a Happy Horse, Happy Life instructor and mentor here again with my horse Paris. And I'm going to share with you today my number one tip for teaching your horse to trailer load confidently and willingly. So that number one tip is to not load your horse in the trailer. I'm going to do everything but load my horse in the trailer. And I'm going to do that until she's so confident that it's easy to get her to go in there. So I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the outside of the trailer. I'm going to ask her to put her nose on a few things. I'll ask her to go between me and the trailer. I may ask her to back up towards it. But I'm going to do everything but load her in the trailer. The first thing I'm going to do is send her between me and the side of the trailer. So I'm going to direct her nose. I'm going to send her there. Move her hindquarters over. Have her wait. <laughs> I'm going to let her check it out. And then I'm going to send her between me and the trailer again. Yield the hindquarters. Have her wait. And then this time I'm going to have her put her nose on the fender. Good girl. <laughs> and now we're going to go sideways along the trailer. And then I'm going to have her put her nose on the floor of the trailer. Good girl. And I'm going to back her up. Get that a little more responsive there. I'm going to send her back around and get her to put her nose up near this window up here. So I'm going to lift. There we go. Good girl. And then between me and the trailer again, we're going to move the hindquarters over. And I'm going to get her to put her nose on the side of the trailer. Right here. Good girl. Good girl. And she went to put her foot in. I'm going to back her up. So it's not about loading her in the trailer yet. It's about having communication around the trailer and building her confidence. And by not loading her, I'm also preventing myself from getting direct line and pushing when I shouldn't be. Now I'm going to have her go sideways and put her nose on the chuck. Good. And then back around. And this time I'm going to have her put one front foot in and then I'm going to back her off. Good girl. And then back her up. And now I'm going to have her put her nose on this side on this metal divider. Good. What a good girl. Back her up. I'm going to send her around. I'm going to have her pull parallel to the trailer. So I'm going to move her hindquarters there. Good girl. And we're going to back up next to it. Good. What a good girl. And now we're going to go back around. We're going to do two front feet in the trailer. When she's curious and checking the trailer out, I'm not going to ask for more. I think she's kind of smelling the smells of manure of other horses that have been in here. What a good girl. I'm going to ask her for two feet. There's the one. <laughs> If she gets close like that, I'm just going to back her up, a little bit of retreat. And again, I'm not loading her. I'm asking her to put two front feet in here, tapping her shoulder. There we go. That was a chai. Two front feet in here, just like I did in the last video with the pedestal and the teeter-totter. So I'm asking her to try a little bit harder here because she smelled it a few times. But I want the feet. Good girl. So when she thought about her foot instead of her nose, good girl. That was a good try. When she thought about her foot instead of her nose, I released. 
but it's not about her nose this time. I want the feet, the two front feet. Two front feet. So I'm talking to the foot. Talking to the foot. Good girl. And we're going to get the other one. Okay, not confident to put the other one up there. That's okay. I'm going to back her up. We're going to go again. It's about the front feet only. It's a try. Back her up. Forward again. We get the message to her feet here. Back her up. Good girl. Good girl. Back her up. So the back up is the retreat. <laughs> so every time she tries, we'll back it up. Retreat. Approach again. Back it up. And then forward. A little distracted. I'm just going to get her focus back. Here I'm going to back her up because what she does is she gets a little too close and then she can't put her foot up there <laughs> without <laughs> touching her shin into the trailer. Give it a try. All right, I'm going to let her check it out with her nose. And we're going to back it up. And we're going to go again. Step up. There we go. Good girl. Good. So that wasn't two front feet, but that was one. It's better than zero. I'm going to retreat again. And my goal here was two front feet. So I'm going to go again. Ask. Good. Ask. Good. <laughs> I'm going to encourage her to put weight on that foot. There we go. Because what happens, she doesn't really put her foot in the right spot. Good girl. Good girl. Put the other one up there. <laughs> She's like, no, I can't. Which is okay. It's not about loading her. It is about communication and building her confidence. When she gets too close like that, we're going to back it up. She's got to be responsive when I ask her to back. <laughs> got to be responsive. All right, let's try it again. Okay, too close. We're going to back it up. Forward again. Get her backing nicely. Going to give her a minute to check it out. And then I'm going to ask for a little more here because I wanted the feet. Good. So try. Back it up. And then forward again. Oh, not about the nose. So I've let her check it, check it out a few times with her nose because that does help improve her confidence. But I do want her to understand that that's not the goal. The goal right now is not the nose. <laughs> She's pretty confident to put her nose on things, but to put her foot up in here is a whole other challenge. So when she stops thinking about her feet, that's when I ask her to try something else. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to ask for a little more because I want that other foot. The other foot. No, the other foot. Good. Almost. Almost. <laughs> you gotta try. Not that way. There's a try. Good. Good girl. Then step up. No. And I know I've prepared her to do this because she's confident. Good girl. She's confident to step up on a pedestal with two feet. 
and she's super confident to put her nose all in here. So I know what I'm asking her to do with the two front feet is not outside the realm of the possibility right now. Check it out with her nose and then we'll ask again. Oh, not over there. I'm gonna back her up a little bit and we'll come forward. Back her up and then forward. She gets too close, so we're gonna back, back, forward again. And you can see she's not really thinking about her feet. Got to get her brain down to her feet here. Let her check it out for a minute. And then ask for a try again. Good girl. Yeah, there's one front foot. Good girl. Now the second one. Because that was my goal. I already did the one. The one was pretty easy before <laughs> until I started asking for two. Nope, you gotta organize those feet, girl. Okay, we're gonna back her up. She's not in a good position. Come forward again. Good girl. Back her up. Come forward again. Good. Okay, back around. Come forward. <laughs> Gonna give her a minute here to think. And ask for a little more. Okay, back it up. Back and forward. Got to try. Good. So I got a little firm there because she wasn't trying anything. She's kind of standing there. So it's like you got to try something. Good girl. What a good girl. What a good girl. That was a pretty good try. So you can see the one leg is now challenging. So getting two legs is going to be even harder. I think what I'll do is I'll get, I'll go back to the one leg since we're at an impasse here with the two. Good girl. And now I can just reward the one. So I changed my goal from two to one. And I'm gonna get her nose there. Yep. Nope, nose there. Good. So she actually acted like she wanted to step up. What a good girl. Good. Now I'm gonna back her off. Back. Good girl. We're gonna go put our nose over here. So that took a bit of time. But sometimes that's what it takes. Good job. Touch the fender. This time I'm gonna touch the door. Way over here. Good job. I'm gonna send her between me and the trailer. Move the hindquarters over. Back her up. We're gonna put the nose in the trailer. And I want her nose up to the next line. So she's gonna have to stretch here. There's a line in the mats that I want her nose to reach. <laughs> Almost there. So it's not about her feet, although she's thinking about her foot. <laughs> not that. There, it's closer. There. <laughs> Pretty close. Almost. 
<laughs> She's a few inches away. So it's not about getting in the trailer, it's about putting your nose right where I've asked her to put it. So I'm talking to the nose here. <laughs> We're going to go for a spot on this rubber mat with her nose. Right at the next line. She's thinking about it. She's like, hmm, this lady doesn't want my feet now. <laughs> nose on the divider, which is good, but not what I asked. Almost over here. Here. Good girl. Now we're going to back her out. Good. Okay, last one is going to be one front foot in the trailer. So now I am talking to the feet. I'm asking her to try a little harder here. a little harder. Okay, we're going to back it up. So we're a little close. I'm talking to the foot. Good girl. That was good. I'm going to do it once more because even though she put her foot up there, she wasn't super confident about it. Good girl. And she actually chose to put two. So I'm going to take it, but now I'm going to back her off. Good job. What a good girl. So, my number one tip for teaching your horse to trailer load confidently and willingly is to not load them at all for a while. Have them touch the trailer, the outside of the trailer, the inside of the trailer. Really build your communication. You can see if I asked her to go all the way in, we'd get in a pretty big fight. So, rather than get in a fight with her, I'm going to teach her the skills I need her to have to be able to load into the trailer. So, one foot at a time, back that foot out. Uh, get the nose in a little farther each time as well. I hope you liked my video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe or leave me a comment, and I'll see you soon.